Hey up. So today I've had a question from my little sister who's actually started running and she's doing the old couch to 5k and her question this morning to me was how the hell do you do it? I was like do what? She says how do you run further? Today on my little trot we're gonna explore that topic. How do you up the mileage a little bit when you're a beginner? Whew. I feel like a beginner today myself. Right. Back home! Be able to see a difference in this camera. Hopefully, the stabilization is kicking in and it just looks better. Um, this is a GoPro Max, my new toy. Just out for a run. I'll tell you what, it weighs a ton. Yeah, I seriously think it's a metric ton. This thing it's definitely going to build up my bicep as I'm running along. And there's me thinking I was going to get a camera that was lighter so I didn't have to be carrying my phone all the time. What have I done? Anyway, maiden voyage. Let's see how we go. Tell me what you think in the comments below. So basically, I just want to stop and show you this. I love these trails by the river. The River Seven's over there. And I love these trails. It comes all the way from my house, which is over in that dip over there. And you can come all the way down here. And you can actually run all the way to Gloucester down this river hundred and odd miles or whatever it is okay but this time of year when everything starts growing up you can't really run in these crops and you can't really run on that path you've just got to kind of make do and that's why I was running like some kind of mongoloid before so the first thing you want to do is just plan a little bit before you go for the run. I mean, do you need a rest day before you up the mileage? Do you need to plan a different route? Are you doing the same route over and over again? And what you want to do is just add a bit of variety so that you almost force yourself to do further. Even if you've got to slow down a bit, there's no, there's no problem slowing down, taking your time to increase your distance because it will come and everything is a little progression. Just keep working at it and working at it. See you in a bit. thing to do you just understand what's actually happening in your body as you run along so most of our physiological systems will run better at a slightly higher temperature than our normal, our normal body temperature and it can take a while to get that body temperature up so even if you're relatively unfit it can still take a while so just work on getting your body temperature up and understand that as you get it up there things are going to settle down and things are just going to get easier so stick with it
that's here because this little thing just kind of paints a picture. So up here, this is all the driftwood from a recent flood. Okay, not too long ago. And then the actual river is down there. I don't know what that is. Five or six meters down. But what it is, it's a perfect illustration of that sometimes you're gonna run well. Sometimes you're not gonna run well. You're gonna be up and down, up and down. It's just the way it is. Sometimes when you don't hit the distance you wanna hit, you're just having a bad day. Other times you'll feel like you can run the whole time that like you've got little wings on your feet. Like me today. Woo. We've talked a lot about stuff on the macro level. Your route planning, that kind of stuff. But what about the micro level? <clears throat> a great little technique that I use quite a lot. If I'm struggling one day, it's a really st steep hill, I'm trying to catch someone or something, maybe my head just not with it, is I'll find little thresholds. And it's like deadlines for me to get to before I let myself stop. So it might be the next tree, the next bush. It might be the next hill, the next runner in front of you. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Just get to it and when you get there, set a new threshold and crack on because that's how runs are done. One step at a time, one foot at a time. And that's how distances are gained. One meter at a time. Right. There's the next threshold. There's a bridge over there in the distance. That's it. Go for it. Made it. Right, how the hell? My little sister's fault this. How the hell have I taken a video on running further and turned into a starting sprint session? What the heck? Must be going nuts. Right, let's get on. About halfway, about five mile in. Five mile back. Why have I done this? The next technique I've got for you is, uh, it's called negative splits and whoa, it's up to the sun. You might have heard about this before, but basically you split your route down into halves, quarters, miles, kilometers, whatever you want to do. And the idea is that you're, every time you go into the next mile, that's called your split. All right. So what you want is you want the previous split to be slightly slower than the split you're on right now. So if you're doing a marathon, you do halves. Your first 13.1 mile should be slower than your second 13.1 mile. All right, so negative splits, you can apply that to pretty much any distance. Okay, keep an eye on your watch if you want. That's, if you're someone that's into data and, and that kind of stuff, that can be quite good. Me, I don't usually bother that. Okay, I'm at the hill, the killer hill. This is by far the worst part of this run. It's quite steep, it's quite long, it's about 600 meters long. Sometimes, when all those other tricks and tips and strategies don't work, sometimes you've just got to get mad, get angry, whatever you need to do, and just get yourself up the freaking hill. All you beginner runners, yeah. don't want to put you off. That was tough. Right, I'm gonna let the Harrier come down a bit. 
and then get on. Well guys, I've had a great little run today. First run out with the GoPro Max. Um, if you've enjoyed it, if you've found it of value, please consider subscribing. Hit the little bell so you get all the notifications because I'm not pretty I'm not that regular with little videos. Um, so you need to know when these videos get sent out. Please uh, hit the little thumbs up if you do find benefit in this video and uh, maybe share it with your mate. I don't know. Or comment. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I'm new to this. Good little fella. All right. Finally, guys, just make sure you have a great day because great days make great lives. See you later.